Welcome everyone to Beyond the Adventure. Today's episode is a corny adventure from Season 2 of Adventure Wednesday. Let's get started. So starting this episode out here, we are actually already in the cornfield and I was trying to do a corny little introduction promo into the episode right here. Now I have gone in corn mazes a bunch of times before in the past and I have not been in one since I was probably, I don't know, 17 or 18 years old. I know I was in high school at the time and a couple of my friends and myself and we all decided to go out to a core maze and check it out it was a lot of fun but anyways we decided to go all the way up to Mike's Maze, which is one of the more popular corn mazes located around this area it's located all the way up in Sunderland which is where Mount Sugarloaf is located I've taken you guys there before I will throw a link up here or down below in the description if you want to check it out anyways here we are just heading north on Interstate 91 now Mike's Maze is a eight 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 acre big eight acre large corn maze like i said it's one of the more popular ones in the area it's also one of the more um, larger ones in the area and every single year they change things up and do a different design in the field now from what i recall the uh, or what i remember the year that we went up here it was all about different native species in massachusetts and how it works is you get like a little packet and if you follow the maze correctly you will arrive on clues you put the clues in together and it's like uh, you have to unscramble the word and it'll tell you what native species of Massachusetts they are talking about. Right there on the left is actually where Mount Sugarloaf is located. Here we are heading the uh, heading over the Connecticut River, I believe that is, into where Sunderland is. Now Mike's Maze is up here on the right. Here we are pulling in. It's located in back of somebody's house. Now We'll see up ahead there's a horse and a, a wagon they offer hay rides and everything they also have food there that's available see the mountain right there directly in front of the row of cars right there that is mount sugarloaf that's the one i'm talking about there's a couple of movies that were actually filmed up there the last one that i can recall was heart of darkness or edge of darkness it was a mel gibson film i thought it was pretty good back when mel gibson was um semi-sane anyways here we are parked into the cornfield or parked in the cornfield right, so we you can just see how high the corn is at this time of year and i think this was sometime in september this was right after the big e which was a previous episode i'll throw that up above or down below in the description so i'm guessing this was like maybe the end of september right around the beginning of october i can actually find this was September 25th, I believe we went. Yes, September 25th, 2016 is when this was filmed, and this was originally published on September 28th, 2016. So they had this really cool little aerial platform that you could walk up and check out the entire corn maze that was out there in the distance. You can't really get a bird's eye view or a view that a drone would give you, but if you do go up onto the top of Mount Sugarloaf in the fall, I know I keep saying Sugarloaf, if you go to the top of that mountain in the fall and you look over in that direction, you can get a pretty good view of whatever that current year's design is on the corn maze. Here's just a little uh, panoramic view of everything on the farm right now. Here we are just entering the corn maze. Now for this right here, from what I recall, in a second, I actually just brought around the GoPro with me. A little, little windy in here. Yeah, I did. So I had I'd taken a wrist mount for the GoPro and I decided to try that out. This is like right, right around the time that I had gotten the newer GoPro, which I don't even use anymore. But anyways, here's that little thing that I'm talking about where it is all the different um, trivia, the animals and stuff where you have the different words and you have to match them up to whatever the stop is that you're at. And if you do that correctly and you traverse the maze correctly, then you should be able to get out just fine. One thing always amazes me is people are afraid to get lost in a corn maze and most corn mazes aren't that big. And if you're quiet, you can typically hear somebody off in the distance don't do it. Teddy is he's, watching. He's telling you don't to do it. Yeah, so you know what it was? Game. This wasn't about Massachusetts like animals. I think this was about the oh, National like Park saying, Service really having their anniversary and they were listing off different animals that were famous to each national park. Anyways, here is a view of the GoPro or view with the GoPro walking through the corn mazes. There is a lot of rows of corn. There is one of the birds. I think that is maybe a bald eagle right there. I'm not too entirely certain. Here we are, as you can see this, like I said, this is one of the larger corn mazes in the area. And going down some of these rows right here, it just seems like it goes on forever. I'd highly recommend doing this on a cooler day 
where the sun is out, not a day where it's cold and raining, but you don't want to be walking around in the middle of a cornfield on a hot day. I think it was very hot this day that we were walking around here, and from what I can see right now, I'm wearing jeans, so I don't know, they're just using the, the phone as a camera and the camera as a phone. Just kidding, using the camera as a camera and the phone as a camera, but anyways, not much to talk about right here, guys. It's just a bunch of corn. Now, there are a couple of other cool things located up around this area here to do. There's a spot known as Puffer's Pond, not to do it to go to. There's a spot known as Puffer's Pond. This is also where the University of Massachusetts is located, not too far away from here. I'd say within 15 or so miles of where this corn maze is, is where um, UMass is located. So here we are, just, you know, there, there are other people that are wandering around the corn maze with you at the same time. So if you happen to go in with another group and they're getting all the questions right and everything, you can just follow them and it makes your task of going through the corn maze pretty easy. But if they're getting things wrong, you could get lost. And I recommend just, just going with your own self, going with your own gut instinct. So here we are just wandering around the corn maze. Now in a second we're exiting and there's going to be some cute baby pigs. Look at these tiny little baby pigs. They were so adorable. I can only imagine how big they are by now if this was two years ago. Those things are full grown. But look at them. They, they can't be more than a month old, I would say. Their, their eyes are open and everything. So here we are actually heading back to the car. Now, like I said before, they do have food and beverages there that you can get. They had apple cider. We got that. I don't know. Oh, this is where we checked our answers here. You could check your answers. They have like little books provided at the picnic tables, and we could match up and see how well we did. And I don't think we did good. I mean, the bonus is Sasquatch. The bonus was Sasquatch. So but like, I think we got like, we, we'll we got like the, the, you know, obvious ones down, like the, uh, the like a bear or, ooh, that was something that I wanted to check out. They have a zombie paintball type of thing going on at night there as well in the fields. All these pumpkins out and everything. And Thanksgiving is only a few times, a few days away, so I thought this was a perfect time to to view this episode and do a Beyond the Adventure. We got our apple cider. We are leaving Mike's Maze right now. But also another thing that is located somewhat around that area to do is to go to Yankee Candle, which is absolutely enormous compared to how it used to be when I was a little kid. But anyways, we are just ending the episode out here. Thank you guys very much for watching this corny adventure. If you guys enjoyed the video, let me know by giving it a thumbs up, and I will see everyone on Friday for Free For All Friday. Peace. Yeah.